Developing this morning, a boil water notice is in effect for some 25,000 JEA customers on Jacksonville's south side and Nocatee. This impacts several neighborhoods, a hospital, and a number of schools. News of Jacks reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. And Ashley, crews repaired the damage, but the notice is still in effect, and people are asking why. They certainly are, and it is going to be in effect for some for the time being, and that's why parents and students here at Ponte Vedra High School are advised to be prepared, and that means coming to school with a bottle of water. If you live in one of the areas seen on this map, you're under the boil water advisory following yesterday's water main break along Phillips Highway. It was quite a surprise for many neighbors as they tried to go about their day. I went to the store earlier and got some water because um, we have three dogs at home. You know, <laughs> yeah. can't can't flush toilets, can't do showers. Looking at that map again, you see Baptist South and many nearby schools are impacted. A message sent to students and parents at Ponte Vedra High School said for today and Thursday, please send your child to school with water in a water bottle. We will have additional bottled water available to students and staff located near the cafeteria. Students will not be able to refill water bottles using campus fountains on these two two days. Bathrooms will function as normal. If you decide not to purchase bottled water, it is recommended that you boil water for at least one minute before using it. In the meantime, people are advised to be cautious and follow the JEA guidelines. And even if your neighborhood is not on that map, JEA is asking you to conserve water and JEA says it will provide updates on when the boil water advisory is finally lifted. We're live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.